Today we're gonna do a really nice and crispy chicken burger. And we'll do it two ways, baked or shallow fried with some oil. Let's get started and these both burgers are gonna be amazing. So to start with, our initial breading process will be exactly the same. So to bread the chicken, first spread some plastic wrap on your cutting board or your countertop. Then add your chicken breast directly onto that plastic wrap. Wrap it with any excess plastic wrap on the sides and the top so it's completely enclosed. And then with the meat mallet or any heavy object, just pound that thin to about half an inch of thickness. If it is a small chicken breast, so about less than 140 and 50 grams, then you don't have to do this next step. But if it's a big chicken breast, then we can just cut that evenly into a diagonal so that each piece is about the same size. And that way, a large chicken breast will yield two burgers. Now, once you have that, let's prepare our actual breading mixture. So in my breading station here, I have some flour, which I'll season with salt, pepper, and some cayenne. You can use some paprika for a bit less spice as well. But honestly, it's not gonna be too spicy at all. It's just a really nice and flavorful dish. Then I have my egg here, which I lightly whip up. And you can also add in some egg whites for some extra body if you want, or just make it all with complete egg white. And finally, I have some of my panko breadcrumbs that I'm gonna season with a bit of oregano. You can put a pinch of salt there as well if you want. To avoid my hands from getting dirty, just use some thin skewers or toothpicks and dip the chicken and dredge it in that flour. Completely coat it in that flour, shake off any excess, and then dip it into your egg. And once you've dipped it in that egg, make sure it's all coated all throughout and then drip any excess off and then finally go to your actual breadcrumbs. Now at this stage, I do like to get my hands a little dirty because to really get that beautiful crust, you wanna put some pressure down on that chicken just to make sure we have a nice crust that's not gonna come off easily while cooking. So really put some pressure and get those breadcrumbs right into that chicken. Do the same with as many burgers as you're making today. Flour, egg, breadcrumbs, and a press. Once you have all that settled, it's your choice whether you want to go the fried route or the bake route. Now technically, I won't be baking, but I'll be air frying. And I really prefer that to baking because I no longer have to wait for the oven to preheat. Now for the air fryer method, you wanna put your chicken cutlet into the drawer, set the temperature to 375 Fahrenheit and set the timer to 20 minutes. Five minutes into that cooking process, brush each side with some olive oil. Then turn the chicken and then continue cooking until about five minutes are left. By this time, the chicken should be a really nice and perfect golden brown. At this stage, if you're having cheese today on your burger, add the slice over that chicken and then continue cooking until that cheese is completely molten. If you're not using cheese, then you can just take the chicken out right now. Now let's jump over to how the fried method works and then we'll, at the end, assemble our burgers. And for the shallow fried method, I have some peanut oil, which I'm heating up in my pan here. And once it's nice and hot, then add in your chicken right in there. Let that cook until it's nicely golden brown, just like the air fryer method. And then make sure you turn it to ensure the color is even throughout. Then once that chicken is ready, add your cheese over the top of your chicken and you can either just let it rest and let the residual heat melt that cheese. Or in my case, to quicken that process, I tossed it in the oven under the broiler for about 30 seconds and that was enough to melt that cheese perfectly. So for the cheeses, for the air fryer method, I chose to use cheddar cheese, which is so creamy and it melts so perfectly. And for the fried method, I used a combination of Swiss and provolone, which is nice and dry, drier than the cheddar, and it has a nice stretchiness, which I really enjoy. So 
choose your favorite cheese there's no wrong answer and then put that on your chicken and make sure it's molten now while the chickens are cooking toast your buns get that ready get your toppings ready so you're good to go when that chicken is perfect and the cheese has molten so for the air fryer method i chose to do a nice mayonnaise and sriracha now this is some really good quality mayonnaise i get it from farm boy not sponsored but it's the lightest mayo you'd ever have it's so good so i have the mayo sriracha a bit of lettuce onion cucumber and avocado fan and that is gonna make my burger now for the shallow fried method i chose to do the same sauces except i'm using some lettuce tomato onion and a crispy strip of bacon for my burger and here they are this is just beauty on a plate you can't go wrong with a nice crispy chicken burger you can do so much with it let me know in the comments down below which version are you most excited to have or which version looked the best let me know by commenting down below hitting that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already there's some exciting content coming up really soon which you don't want to miss out until then i'll see you guys again on the next one bye guys